Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, Trans Am Still Better Than the Camaro YouTube channel. Uh, I mean, Jerry Garage. Which to, that. Today we're going to be trying to put uh, the engine on the subframe because we got pretty much everything we got we needed to swapped over. Um, and then the rest of the stuff we need to do, we need to put the flywheel and new clutch on and stuff that'll be actually easier to do once it's on there since uh, the engine stand uh, connects to the rear of it. So Then we're going to put Davis's Mustang transmission in the Camaro. I don't think that'll work. No, it's happening. So um, basically what my plan is, since the engine hoist is kind of, uh, it's, big. it's big, it's not very long, um, and it runs into things, so like when we had it there, it's having some problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll the subframe over here where we have a lot of room. We're going to roll or move the engine over to it, kind of like above it, and then we're going to position the engine hoist either behind or in front of it whichever will make it easier to lower it on there. And uh, all we have to do is uh, get these engine mounts, basically just these two, put onto the new engine mounts there. And that's really all that holds the engine onto the subframe. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on that, moving this over there and doing all that we just did. This car won't be slow as fuck. So this is the ingenious redneck bullshit uh, we come up with uh, to this try to make this work. Garage at doing jury rig things. So we have the whole subframe on top of the engine hoist here, just so we can have everything aligned. What we're going to do is we're going to get the engine chained up uh, carefully. We don't want to scratch the paint, obviously. And then um, once it's suspended, we can move the subframe wherever it needs to be to line up with the engine mounts here. And then once it's secured on here, we're going to roll the engine subframe combination off and uh, from there it should be able to roll on its wheels there and we can get it to where we need it so uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do next it's gonna suck. yeah probably so uh, we got the engine chained up I also got all these rags uh, so we don't hurt the paint very much uh, I got bolts on both sides so now we're gonna go ahead and start lifting it getting it taut and then we're going to Disconnect this very slowly because it'll probably just fucking come forward. Yeah, you know, actually. Swing back. So maybe like hold it back a little bit. But yeah, so let it hit the Camaro and end it. Yeah, we are pretty close to Camaro. It's fine though. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on that. Watch the chain just to make sure it's. Yeah, I'm watching on this side. Wait. Sorry, people, this is. We're doing it live here. <laughs> Yeah, camera angles are bad. Okay, that's pretty good. So now, yeah, we're going to have to unbolt it. Um, yep, so we'll just go ahead and get on that, get the impact or whatever we need. Here. Gadget. So if you look in here, folks, this is the inside of a supercharger. Here's where fucking hamsters spin round and round real fast. Oh, oh, we can't focus. I'm sorry, guys. The inside of the supercharger is canceled. What size do you think those are? Big. Real big. Not that big, though. We're kind of big. <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah, get a good look at this jury rig bullshit. I don't think I've ever seen someone set the subframe on the engine hoist. Buy all of the Ugga Duggas, Davis. Well, that's enough of this engine. I'll give you people what you want. More VQ. Look yep. at it. I'm sorry to anyone if there's bad wind noise right now. It's windy. I don't know how this camera is for wind noise. It's fine. When are we getting some GoPros? Be real YouTubers. One? Never. Well, we can't afford that. Crippled with debt from car parts, so. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not even a little bit wrong. Now I have to buy new tires now. Yeah. 
Why haven't you bought the stuff for your transmission? It's just right there. The people want more Mustang. That's fine. I don't know if that's true, but I'm, I decided for you people, you want more Mustang. It's really pretty blue in the sunlight. Yeah, it is. Davis, your guesstimate as to the quarter mile time once it's ready? This? Yep. Zero. That's pretty fast. Really fast. You sure about that? I think we should put that one back in. Say what? I think we should put that one back in there. Oh yeah, good idea. I still think this uh, engine slash Camaro is a lie. Engine? Yeah, this engine and that Camaro. Yeah. It's a lie. It can't be an LS killer because there's no way it can actually outrun an LS it'll with the same stock. mods. It'll outrun stock and my early tuned ones. Yeah, but I mean, an LS with the same mods wins every time. That's not the point. But it will beat a stock LS yeah. 1. That's the point. I don't know if it'll beat a stock LS 2 or 3. Alright, so... Uh, we have it on the last bolt here, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and probably set up the camera so Vince can hold the engine a little bit when it releases. We're going to die. We probably are going to die. That's okay. Alright, get ready. It's going to fucking rocket once it releases. This will probably hit the strut. That's just the AC compressor. Okay, so, well, no, it's fine. The bolt is definitely securely in there. Sketchy. Alright, so, uh, Engine's free floating for the first time in a very long time. So uh, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. Send it. Shouldn't be the sway bar be under the fucking Yes. How did how did this happen? We can just remove it. What's going on here? I'm confused. I don't think we're gonna be able to put it on with it like yeah, that. Yeah, no. Like how did what? All right, we're running some technical difficulties. We're going to be right back. So uh, technical difficulties might have been solved. We might have been retarded, but uh, the sway bar just looks like it's, it is visually higher. So I think once everything's set and this is back on the ground, it should probably settle. And uh, looking at the photos, I think it should be fine coming on here. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with getting the engine on and uh, send, it. send it and see about making that work. So get the bolts out of the engine mount, we basically just need to line them up with the engine mount on the subframe and get a bolt through. So uh, as you can see mine is pretty much lined up, we're just going to adjust it and I'm going to get this bolt through so we can get the nut on. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that real quick. Alright, well, uh, basically the uh, they're kind of on it, they're just definitely not lined up correctly. So, also the lines are pretty uh, it's not holding up much, so I think we're pretty much good to start ma Fiddling. adjusting it, so. Actually, it might want more slack so we can kind of wiggle. Yeah. Yeah, sit on, on it a little bit. Yeah, on the rubber. So, let's see. Alright, All right, might have to put the camera down just so I can help out here. 
So uh, since this motor mount was kind of already sitting on it, all we needed to do was wiggle it a bit. Uh, we still need to go down just a little bit more on my side. Yeah. Yeah, you got yours through. Yeah, boy. Perfect. Yep. Kind of need like a, just a screwdriver to kind of pinch in there and shove it down. Yeah. Closer. Swear. We just need a fucking screwdriver to. Oh, we can lower this a little. Probably. That's probably it. Yeah, it is taut. So this uh, basically just lowered enough to it. it's now on there again. So. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, I think that's good. I don't know which side I should put the nut on because this side is kind of blocked by the AC. I could only come in from the front. The okay. Front. Well, I might as well just do that then. Come in from the back. <coughs> Up in the front side. What? Are you, are you able to push it? Uh, not yet. I think it needs to come. Oh, no, it's. No, it. Just push it. That fucking hammer. That's a hammer. Everything's a hammer. If you're brave enough. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Uh, I can't get a nut on that, though. Seriously, the AC is like so literally So you have to blocking. come in the other direction. But I don't think I'd be able to get it on with the AC there. No, you probably wouldn't. So I think I need to back it out. Yeah, back get it a nut out just a little it. bit. Get the nut. Come forward. Shoot. Tighten the nut down. Okay, well we're gonna take care of this, and we'll show you once we have it all bolted down. <laughs> well, guys, the engine's officially on the subframe. Uh, Abracadabra. Only took like almost a year. That's fine. Um, but we got the engine mounts all secured. Now all we're going to have to do is get this suspension engine combination off the top of the engine lift. That's going to be sketchy. It's going to be sketchy, but it'll be fine. It's got suspension technically. I mean, we just need to just drop it. Pretty much just, just push pull it, it back, yeah. And then the engine can go flying. One of us can pull from the rear, one of us can pull from that side and it should be the easy, only but the issue is the engine tilting back when we do that. Yeah. Which is why I kind of think we should put a jack stand like yeah, we can put a jack stand under it somewhere, a jack. or even just, yeah, jack, lift it and roll it back, because we could roll it back. That's actually a good idea. We should do that. Okay, so uh, we're going to start working on this. I'm going to see about getting this in a position where the camera can record it, our nonsense, and uh, we're going to we're gonna see this on the ground very soon. All right. Well, it is uh, now on its own uh, suspension. We didn't nick anything, I think. What did you say, one thing it hit? It looked like it might have banged around here, but it feels still solid. I mean, it might have, there's a line. Slapped anything. But uh, <clears throat> with the jack and everything, it was pretty easy to actually move it off. So, I mean, it's on the, susp the suspension now. I mean, things so. I just say, just off the top of my head, things that we still need to do. We still need to put the gasket between the supercharger, bolt it down. Um, we still need to make the flange for it. But now that we have this on, we can put it in the Camaro and try to, you know, mock up exactly what what we need. I mean, this is just the next step for that fabrication. We need to get the flywheel and clutch on, which I can actually do any time now because it's totally exposed back here. Yep. And uh, get the transmission on, and then I mean, once we figure out the, the intake. Elbow? Yeah. That's really it. Injectors. After and that, it's buttoning her up. Yeah. And then the other tiny things like the methanol injection yeah, and we'll battery relocation. Stuff. And then we have to bleed the brakes, do all that stuff, get an oil change, transmission fluid. Find and reconnect any and all plugs. Yep. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get cleaned up right now. And then uh, we'll go ahead and close out the video. All right. Well, we got the uh, whole thing in the garage here. 
the uh, we got the camber life going on, so the struts have been touching the valve covers. So, I mean, we'll probably just clean them up and just we'll do a little touch up uh, paint on it. Same with this uh, dipstick; it was touching it there. Um, but we got it in here. Garage is a mess. We did clean up a little bit, but I'm just going. I'm too tired. I'm gonna do yeah. clean it up tomorrow. So. Um, we're just that much closer. We have access to the rear so we can do the flywheel and new clutch and then we can wheel it into the Camaro at some point and uh, just get measurements for the fabrication we need. We do have the silicone uh, cover head and it's a tight radius silicone coupler that we're going to put on the adapter we're building and uh, it should come out not very far at all. It's going to be very, very, it's a very tight radius but keeps the volume because it's really wide. So. Uh, that's where we're going to end it off here, so uh, thanks for watching.